What is good, ladies and gents? Happy Thursday, June 22nd. It's been one of those days. It has been one of those days. I think I maybe just worked myself a little too hard the last couple days or last week or so. Today I just wasn't feeling it. I woke up in the morning, took the trash out, took the recycle out, went back to bed. Woke up at 12 p.m. to go to my private pick. Went to my private pick, grabbed some lunch on the way home, came home, went back to bed. <laughs> and we are waking up now, and as you see, it's 5.24 p.m. We did absolutely zero work and have absolutely zero regrets. <laughs> I needed, I guess I needed all that. Uh, but I'm feeling a lot better now feeling rested so let me show you guys what i bought i think i spent like 70 dollars at this private pick got a bunch of ornaments uh like vintage ornaments that look like this ornaments that look like this ornaments that look like that and then we got uh some some dolls and we got some barbie dolls over here as well a bunch of disney princess barbie dolls and uh, that's about it I think I spent 68 or 69 dollars. Oh, well, I got a this thing. If it doesn't sell, I'm keeping it for myself. It's like a it's like a drink thing. You keep your drinks over here. And then these things have little shot glasses you can put in there. And yeah, that was pretty cool. It's like unbranded, so I don't know if it will sell or not, but if it doesn't sell, it'll be a keeper. So there we go, that's all I bought. Um, so not too terrible addition to, to the dev pile that I have. Um, should be listed in a day. I don't see why not. Um, plan down. I'm gonna go and edit the vlog for tomorrow. So we have that done. And the rest of the night, we're just gonna list. Um, I pretty much had a day off, but I can still hit my goal. I could still list um, at least one tote of the Christmas houses, plus we will list uh, I guess some of the stuff I got today and some other stuff. Let's continue to plug along here and get everything up and running. And, and then, and, and still be good for the month, <laughs> even though we're, uh, we're not feeling it today. So that's the plan. Do going to have to get some food later as well because I barely ate anything today, but I'm not even that hungry. So. See how it works. I'm not sick or anything that so don't don't write uh you need to take care of yourself so you don't get sick comments. I'm okay. I'm not sick, I was just tired. <laughs> That's all it was. I'm just tired. So uh yeah, I'm gonna put you guys down, go edit this thing and then be right back. Okay, vlog is done. We are done with that, that was pretty quick. Uh 6 p.m vlog is done. It's kind of funny how eBay works, right? I didn't do any eBay work yet, right? Didn't mean any real estate anything. I did nothing with eBay. But while I was like sleeping the whole day, I had no sales, like not one sale. Well, I had one sale according to my eBay statistics. I sold $16 today, right? <laughs> so like, I was like, oh, this is gonna be a slow day, you know? It is what it is. I go during the editing of the vlog. I sell an amazing item, which becomes two sales. Oh no, <laughs> I sell one item, I sell two items, right? A 25, a 35. And then I sell an amazing item for 300 and like 30 something, 37, 38 dollars, something like that. Uh, the Boston Terrier, I'm sure I told you guys about. It's actually in my guest room. It's actually good that I sold it because I have room to put some, some stuff there because it takes up a lot of room. This big thing right here. Boston Terrier Christmas tree, I spent $25 on that. For like three forty, like oh, there we go. eBay's awake, it's selling. And before the vlog is edited, I got two more offers that I took on two more on two more items. One of them was a hundred dollar offer. The other thing was like a forty five, no forty dollar offer on a red, white, and blue like American flag jacket. People are probably buying from the Independence Day. So <laughs> I went from like sixteen dollars in sales to like all oh, over five hundred dollars in sales while editing the vlog. <laughs> it's like somebody out there is like, oh, Paul's working, time to give him sales. The whole day, I got nothing. The whole day, so I got one sale on eBay for um, for like 16. And then I had one sale on, I think Poshmark 
for like 70 for some boots, right? So <laughs> it's, it's crazy how like, they're like, oh, he's awake. L let's give him some sales, crazy. Yeah, anyways, down with the vlog. The vlog is not rendering. Time to list. And I have to be strategic with what I list because I do want to list homes. So, so yesterday, uh, while well, I was deciding on how to store the rest of my houses, right? So as you guys see here, I have four full totes stacked ready to go. Next to it, I'm gonna, I'm almost done emptying this. I have a couple things here. I have some CDs, some DVD, VCR combos. I'm gonna put in a smaller bin. I'm gonna use this bin right next to it, like right here. And we'll have five, right? So we have five full totes of stuff. I don't wanna keep using totes on the Christmas stuff because then I wanna have totes to take with me to yard sales because uh, I wanna use totes with lids. You know, I wanna keep it covered. So what we're gonna do after that is we have these boxes that I got from the buyer as well. I'm gonna use them. So I actually sold something big to Carissa. I'm gonna use this box to ship to her. She bought, she's crazy guys, Carissa's crazy. Chosen Goods Resell on, uh, Chosen Goods Reseller? Chosen Goods Reseller on YouTube, Carissa, really good friend of mine. She bought my Snow White um, figures. The, the 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 rare set of Snow White with the dwarves. Um, she we, we went offline, so there will be no fees I have to pay. We agreed to a number. The number was a big number, very big number. But she loves Snow White. So she bought them for me, so she's the best. <laughs> you guys will see that when I pack orders. You will see it. So I'm gonna use one of these boxes for that. The other two I can use for the remainder of the houses, and I think they're all gonna fit. With the blue one and then these two small ones, I am pretty confident we're gonna be good. Hopefully, I, I, I don't know, we'll see. Like the biggest totes that I had are listed. So like I have like a smaller totes left, like this totes pretty small. This tote isn't that big. That tote is pretty small. These two are kind of big, but I think all this here would fit into a giant tote and two boxes. I am hoping it will and then I'm gonna store them that way. So, all right, so here's the plan that we're doing right now. Emptying that, the big tote, bring it to the office, listing houses until that tote is full. We're gonna do that first. Put it out there, store it, we'll, we'll keep going. Then we're gonna list some of this new stuff from this buyout, clear enough for one box. And then if we have time, list more houses to fill up that box and put it away as well okay so we're kind of working again smarter working smarter thinking about storage again this is all stuff that uh, i think i talked about this i didn't think about it I talked to amber about this this week about how like everybody has a different reseller journey like my journey here in Florida is way different compared to my journey in Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania, I didn't have to think about the storage for these things. I had 4,000 square feet. I could have just easily built a rack and said, hey, that's my department for six rack and put them all on that rack and it would have been good. If I need two racks, got a second rack and, and then they would, have been, they would have been there, they would have been fine. I knew exactly what they were. I don't have the luxury here. <laughs> I don't have that luxury. I have to think about storage way more, which slows down the listing process a lot. Which again, like that's why everybody has a different journey. Everybody has a different path to success. Everybody's success looks different. That's the beautiful part about this reselling world. And and we can just say, oh, somebody. And that's why I don't want you guys to compare yourselves to me because I have a different journey than you guys. A lot of people are out there commenting, saying, oh man, I wish I could be like you. I wish I could do all this like do all like you. But you guys are commenting, you guys are parents, you guys are mothers, you guys are fathers, you have kids, you have a husband, you have a wife, you have a full-time job. It's very hard for you guys to 
put as much effort into your reselling business as me when you guys have all those other things going on. So your version of success looks way different than mine, but it's still success. You know what I mean? That's why I always say nobody compares yourself to me. Nobody compares yourself to anybody. Compare yourself to who you were last year, who you were the year before. What was your nine a day then? What was your average sale price then? What was your knowledge of reselling then? And try to get it and try to improve year after year after year. Don't look at what I do. Don't look at what other people do and say, oh man, that guy, he's the standard. No, don't be your own standard. The more you know. <laughs> All right, now we're done with the motivational talk. Hope you guys are inspired to get it. <laughs> I'm gonna put you guys down and start listing these, these houses. These houses are gonna be the end of me. Okay, so that big tote is now outside. It is pulled away, it's fully packed of stuff. It's like the biggest tote I had. It's the biggest box I had, look how big it is. Um, like lengthwise, right? So huge, like almost double the size of that box. So a lot of stuff went in there, that's box number five. So that was about good enough for about a tote and a half full of stuff that we had, plus everything that was left over from yesterday that didn't fit in a tote also fit in there. So. We did good, that's all listed. We're at like 500 and like 39 for the day. I think we're gonna still keep going. Um, don't wanna do any more houses for a day. I think I'm done to houses. But looking at what I have here, I have one big house there, two, three, four, five, six like big houses left. Besides that, it's like all the smaller stuff, which still sells. All these smaller accessories also sell. It's gonna take a lot longer to list them though. <laughs> And this thing is full of smaller, so it looks like Halloween at the top right there. So we have one, two, three, four totes left, but I can legit consolidate this one to those. It'll become three totes left. So really good with that stuff. Now I kind of want to listen to stuff that I got from today because I'm itching to list this stuff. I probably just listen to the Barbie dolls and other dolls that I got, I'll leave the ornaments for another day. Uh, buy a list those next and then continue maybe with a couple of things from the buyout that have to be listed as well and we'll just continue to mix and match so the issue i have with the houses i love listing the houses they're a lot of fun to look at all that stuff but i like to be in a groove when i list right so the groove means i like to batch um draft like to draft a bunch in a row and then um what you might call it and then take a bunch of pictures in a row and do that it's kind of hard to do with the houses because I don't know like the names of the houses. Like for example, this is called All Saints Corner. I don't know what that is, right? So that way, when if I if I batch it, I have to now go and like search again All Saints Corner to see which pictures go with that, and it will just slow me down. So what I do with the with the houses is I do in a row. Is I do them in a row. I do I take one house, I look it up on eBay, see what it costs, draft it go take all the pictures go to photo room edit the pictures upload it put it away next house and that is a much slower listing process than me let's say grabbing like three barbies grabbing something here grabbing a video game grabbing a comic book grabbing a plush i know exactly what each thing is i don't have to batch i don't have to take them one at a time i can just batch five and do them and, and, and list them so it's a much different listing process for me but still it's still, it's still fun. I still have fun doing it. But, um, but uh, I'm happy with what I did uh, for the houses for today. Tomorrow's Friday. I expect to be done with all the big houses tomorrow for Friday. And we'll start with the small ones. And we'll do the same thing going into the weekend. It's only 9 p.m. So we still got probably at least two more hours that I can plug along and continue to, to list and get stuff up. And we should get another good number. Right, so we already passed the goal, 500. But we should definitely get um we should definitely get into the 800s maybe even a thousand we'll see um uh, the good sales is considered new to like inspire me to list more so we might, get, we might do another thousand day we'll see all right we're calling it a night uh we listed all the dolls that i got uh, today and for seven boxes of ornaments that i got today i still have <coughs> quite a bit of ornaments there left you guys will see about uh, 949 949 another big number one two three i think it's the fourth highest number i had all month and this four highest numbers all came up from the last week so we have been absolutely crushing it as you will see by sales tomorrow morning um 
they're doing pretty good too based on they're reflecting what we've been listening which is great i have all these still left one two three three six six left to list from today these are just absolutely gorgeous as well six of these they gotta go, go up today uh they're going to visit tomorrow but everything else from today is listed that i got so that wasn't too bad of a of a dent on um <laughs> the death pile over here but yeah we're keeping up we're trying to keep up as much as one person can and not overwork myself and um we're doing good another good listing day especially considering how late we started and how much the day we slept through we still got a lot done <laughs> right now i am um taking a shower and heading to bed and looking for yard sales tomorrow tomorrow's friday it's the first it's, it's a official yard sale day um I didn't pack my orders again tonight, so I'm gonna have to do them tomorrow morning. So again, I'm probably gonna be limiting myself to just my area. Won't be traveling too far for yard sales, like if I won't be going to Sarasota or Venice, we'll just do Northport, uh, Port Charlotte, maybe Englewood, this area. And um, so that way I'm home by like 10, 11-ish, and um, have time to pack the orders before my mail guy gets here. But yeah, I am off to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. What is good, ladies and gents? Happy Friday. Something, something. 1038. <laughs> it's 1038. <laughs> it's June 23rd. Oh, I'm already out of it. I'm already out of it. Happy Friday, guys. How are you guys doing? I am thirsty. I'm going to crack open a frost in front of you guys. My favorite flavor of frost, which is the orange mango. We already have been busy this morning. Did a lot of laundry in the morning. Um, I went to bed kind of late, but I woke up like three times before my alarm clock went off. And my alarm clock goes off at 6.30 on the weekends. Well, 6.30 every day. So I went out, I woke up two times before it. So I was up before, I believe it's for you at seven. So I was up before, so I was like, okay, let me do laundry real quick. <laughs> did, did all, did a bunch of that, got ready for the yard sales, did, did that. Went to three yard sales today, only three. Two in Port Charlotte, one in Northport. There was a couple more in Northport driving on the way to waffle house because that's my tradition i get a waffle house breakfast every friday and um but i was just uh i, I was, was kind of in a rush because i had to pack orders so i was like ah oh, we'll skip those um we'll see i already did good in the first three so if the first three weren't good i probably wouldn't have I probably would have stopped with the other one so we did that we came back we had breakfast we pulled the orders they're over there to talk to you guys about those in a second and now we're here. So let me share with you guys what I bought today. I did pretty good. It's like $100 at the first yard sale. First yard sale was like a lady had a thrift store. She was closing down. So she was selling a bunch of stuff from the thrift store. I got a lot of good stuff there. I got a bunch of power rangers from her. Got two shirts for a buck each. Um, tap out guys, tap out is selling. So I bought more tap out shirts today. The tap out shirts that I bought in four miles already sold. And I bought a couple tap out shirts last weekend that haven't been listed yet. I got those, so uh, but that's my second yard sale. This third yard sale, also second yard sale. Um, first yard sale. This whole bag and this whole bag of vintage Power Rangers, new in box. There's a ton in here, guys. I paid up a little for them. I paid $10 a pop, it says 20, but I paid 10 a pop. I got one, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I had 80 bucks just in Power Rangers. I got this DVD set for like two bucks, set for like 30 online from there. I got this whole big thing of Infinity um, Disney characters. I got good ones in here though, so I think they should be good. And not just like the random characters. I got like the Hulk in here. I have Buzz, I have Lightning McQueen. I have Toy Story. I got Pirates, another Pirates, Monster Zinc, Incredibles. These should do pretty good. Plus, I got the portals for them and the cards for them. So, 10 bucks for that whole thing. I got this nail gun for like $2, which is a really good deal. Bastage uh, from the same yard sale. And here's really cool vintage uh, Disney Rain the Pooh Christmas stuff. I think that should do pretty good. And in here, I got some um, plush. Uh, some goofy plush, we got two of those, and more vintage Disney. So that was the first sale. Dropped like 105 bucks there. Second yard sale, I spent $5 on a Mr. Bill, 
but I don't know where he is right now. He's lost somewhere. I spent a buck on the Simpsons characters. I spent a buck on a fireplace remote, heat search. Hopefully that will be good. You guys know me and my love for weird remotes. There's Mr. Bill. I dropped five bucks on Mr. Bill. And I got those two tap eye shorts for um, a buck each. And the last yard sale, I paid 25 for these Allbirds. I have one pair, two pair. They are Sam's Club Allbirds, but I think every employee in Sam's Club needs to have them. So they do still sell online. Pay a little more than I want for them, but I still should do pretty decent. And then they also got a fish finder, a GPS thing for 15 bucks. I sold, sold comes like in the 70, $80 range which is here, and then two gloves for six bucks total. Uh, actually, it was five dollars. She sold me everything for 20 over here, so. This glove and this glove, and that's it. I had a very good restraint there, because she had a bunch of golfing um, putters and long distance drivers, um, uh, disc golf putters and disc golf drivers. And she was asking like $2 a pop or $1 a pop, and she had like 40 of them. I was very tempted to say how much for all, and I probably would have said how much for all if I didn't have all this junk here already to deal with. Because I did, I was like, Paul, restraint, restraint. Just buy the gloves, buy the fish finder, and get out of it. So there we go. Those, those are the sales. Did pretty good. Everything that I bought today, I think should be listed. Um, the Power Rangers for sure, the gloves for sure, the GPS thing for sure, and the shoes for sure, also for sure. I don't know about all the Disney Infinity stuff. That might be a lot of research for the little, those little things, so I don't know about that. But everything else should be listed today. The rest of the ornaments should be listed today. So that way I'm caught up and not adding anything to the death pile. Then when that all is done, I'll continue with the houses and get at least one more tote or box of those listed to add to that thing. And we'll see where we go from there. So today the only plan we have is to pack just what's sold uh, to edit a vlog for tomorrow. We have an interview with the hustle couple tonight, I think at eight my time or nine my time PM. And then we just list before, between that. So that's all we got going on. So that's it there. You guys are caught up. Now let's talk about what sold. We had a really good day again. My bars on that eBay are looking spicy. You got some spicy bars on the eBay. It encourages me every time I open my eBay store. I'm like, ooh, me liking these bars. Look at those bars. See those bars, guys, compared to what it looked like? Look at these bars now. Look at consistency, top tier bars. Today we have a zero, though, so hopefully that switches. <laughs> hopefully that changes soon. Uh, respond to open offers. Let me send me an offer on something. I didn't see it. Let's see. Let's let me send me an offer on. Oh, Striker DVD set. Let's see. Better be a good offer. 50 bucks is not good enough. And that's going to like another country. Decline. Anyways, on eBay today, we have 20 sales, I believe. 20 sales for over $1,400. On Poshmark, we have one sale for $70. And then we have one sale, like I said, on Instagram. It's going to Carissa. And she, I don't want to say how much she paid, but she paid way too much. Um, paid triple figures for something. And she's awesome. <laughs> she bought these for me. Snow White and Seven Dwarves. Uh, these really cool limited edition porcelain dolls, the complete set of uh, Snow White and all the dwarves. I got this at the private pick in Cape Coral last week, and she got all of them. So, Carissa, if you're watching, you're crazy, but thank you so much for that. It's going out today. Really do appreciate you and your friendship. She calls me her little brother because we're pretty cool. <laughs> then at uh, the Poshmark sale, I spent this whole time talking to you guys with the fan on. You guys are probably like typing in the comments, turn that fan off, we can't hear you. Um, on Poshmark, we saw these boots. These are union made boots. There's no brand on them, but they're union made. So they, they have 
pretty good value. Um, I got these at Flea Across Florida. I think for like three. No, I think I paid more than three. I, maybe it was five. It was my first video of Flea Across Florida. The guy where I bought his Harley boots, bought a bunch of jeans from his stable, bought a bunch of cameras. Those boots were there as well. I think I maybe spent five on them. They sold for $60. Uh, they sold for $70 on Posh. Over here, we got some Roomba vacuum attachments. I paid like five bucks for a whole bag of these Roomba attachments. I had like sets of these where I'm selling them in sets of two for like eight bucks. And uh, I think I had like four sets. I had one of them sets left. Uh, I sold a Ryobi battery. I remember where that came from, but I got $35 for that. So this is a Nikon Coolpix camera. For some reason, I feel like this was a good one. I mean, I listed a bunch of cameras all together. I think th this came from the same booth as um, those boots. And for some reason, this one stood out to me because usually I can get like 20 bucks for them. Yeah, this one costs all for 50, so that's pretty good. <laughs> usually I get like 20, 25 for these, but this one was a special one. This one sold for 50. Uh, these are some Nike um, Vapormax shoes. I got these uh, the Thursday when I went picking when my parents were in town. This is the second yard sale uh, on Thursday. This was the same yard sale where I got those Lynx tools that charge their battery. I got a bunch of like gloves there, just a bunch of cool stuff. And she, I bought two pairs of shoes there for five hours each. These Nikes were one of them and they sold for 50. Over here we have a TAC cam reveal camera. This is a hunting camera. This came from the same yard sale where I paid a lady a double what she was asking. It's the Northport yard sale where I got a bunch of Game Boys and stuff there and a bunch of video games and cameras. She said 30 for everything and I said, I can't do that. I won't be able to sleep at night. I gave her 60 for everything. This was from the same sale and this camera sold for $100. So we're already way, way, way in the profit on there. We have an Ooster little waffle maker. It sold for 25 bucks. It came from, uh, I was about to say, I don't remember where it came from, but now I do remember where it came from. It came from a Bradenton yard sale. Same yard sale where that uh, granny square blanket that I listed the other day came from. Same, same yard sale where the thermometer came from. It came from there. So I had less than a bucket to it. It sold for 25. Here with Tony Stewart die cast car. Sold for 30 bucks. Came from the eBay buyout. Over there we have a Pyrex dish. Um, I think I paid $2 for that in somewhere in Northport. Sold for $35. Then we got a bunch of clothes that sold. We have this Mojo brand. That's a pretty good brand for like surfer shirts. This one has Anglewood on it. This says Anglewood Beach. It's the beach that's close to me, engraved. I thought that maybe it would uh, diminish the value a little bit, but it didn't. Still sold for quite a bit. It sold for $25. This is a Space Jam uh, LeBron James jersey. I sold for 40 bucks. That came from the private pick. This thing came from that yard sale with uh, in in Punta Gorda, Port Charlotte area with that uh, aviation thing that, I, that sold for a couple hundred bucks. That came from that yard sale. Um, so uh, this came, this sold for 40. Then we have a bundle buy from somebody. I don't think they were a viewer. They didn't say they were a viewer, but I sold this top flight polo to them. Uh, this New York, New York, this uh, Nike polo, this Adidas shirt, and this polo polo to them. Uh, all that was a big bundle. I think they were in like 70 or 80 bucks total on that. Um, then we have Adidas, an Old Navy shirt that came from Pennsylvania that sold. A Nike Golf shirt, a polo that came from Pennsylvania. That sold, they sold like 20 bucks. That came from the private pick with all the Ray-Bans and stuff. Over here we have a, a Dr. Seuss plush that sold. Uh, sold for $25, I believe. That came from that... Um, plush yard sale in venice the one of all the arthur plush and uh the clifford and friends plush yeah it's all for 25 bucks down here these also came from the same private buy as these disney things these are like crocodile boots or something i don't know they look pretty cool sold for 90 dollars then we have a granny square like afghan blanket got that at peaches to at peaches to beaches got that at 127 yard sale way back in the day with caleb and that thing finally sold for 25. and last but not least we got a couple of viewer sales we have this hat that sold to des 
in Illinois. You guys know about Des. She's fantastic. She is awesome. Des bought another thing for me. Thank you so much, Des. Another constant supporter of the channel is Wanda in Oklahoma. Wanda bought the sick all clad pan for me. You guys that resell, you guys know all clad. All clad is not cheap. So thank you so much, Wanda, for your purchase there. And then I saw this really sick Fenton bowl as well. It's going to a viewer. And I don't remember if they left me a note or not, but they already left me positive feedback. And the feedback they said that they love my videos. So I figured they are a viewer. But they already left me positive feedback and I didn't even send it out to them yet. It is going to Sheila in Dalton, Georgia. Sheila, thank you so much for your purchase as well. Hope you enjoyed the bowl. Thank you to all my viewers. You guys are incredible. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Oh! I was like, this is it. No, it's not it. Forgot the best sale right here. <laughs> Forgot the best sale. I'm like, wait a minute. Something's not up. Something's not up. This is the Boston Terrier Department 56 Christmas tree. So the Christmas tree that I spent $25 on at a yard sale. Let me show you guys a picture of what it looks like. This is what it looks like. It's a Boston Terrier Christmas tree. And as you see what it sold for. Right there. You guys see that? Plus shipping. You guys see that number? Craziness. I paid $25 for it. <laughs> Pay 25 bucks for it. That was one of my like bolo items that I was always on my bucket list to find. I know about them and I'm just waiting. It's this Danbury event. I was just waiting to see one in the wild and I finally saw one in the wild. I paid 25 for it and it sold for a lot more than that. <laughs> now that's it. Now I think we're good. The best part about this, it's ready in foam. It's ready in the box. All to do is just tape it up and ship it. So it's not even gonna be that hard for me to ship. <laughs> so that's gonna be great. Now we're done, that is everything. Time to put some beats on, pack these guys up and get them out of here.